That mic check, big act in the building, big act in the building. We going live on all platforms. I don't know if the song's been ingested yet. So I'm going to try going live on all platforms playing this. But they might shut me down real quick. I ain't even going to lie to you, okay? We on YouTube right now. We on Rumble, of course. We on Twitch. We on uh, Facebook. Everybody who's rocking with me, man, salute to all the chat niggas in the building. Listen, I was about to have a cozy night, chill out. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Let me rest my mental. Let's get back on it tomorrow. And then, of course, I see my DMs going crazy. <laughs> like, what? I thought niggas was trolling me. I said, this ain't no April Fool's joke. This ain't April 1st. It's the 5th. Then I see the album pop up. I see my boy Jay Crizzle. He talking all that shit. And I said, man, nigga, I had to get the fuck up. Okay? Anyway, uh, yo, people on YouTube, what up with y'all? Let me give you a lowdown. I know some of y'all just getting online. I was going to play this part of my intro, but really I'm streaming because of this. Okay? So I'm going to play this song. I don't think it's been properly ingested yet, which means what... It, it, the way how they put up songs these days and how they ingest it and how they put the whole, yo, somebody's playing your song, it takes a little minute. The song just came out literally 50 minutes ago. I think we could sneak it by a bit. We're going to try to play this song on all platforms. If they hate on us, they hate on us. But, yeah, uh, we'll be back on YouTube if they do suspend us. But I want to play the song that I can hear it. If you guys haven't heard it, this is uh, J. Cole's 7-Minute Drill. My boy is talking that shit and... He's the first person to respond to Kendrick Lamar, the like that verse that has been shaking the whole industry. And uh, let me know what y'all think. Yeah. But nah, it don't sound right. So let me just play it on normal because I don't want y'all call it whack or nothing. I want y'all to hear it as it normally is. Here we go. Yeah. Holy chat. Holy. Yo, you heard what he said. Your first shit was classic. Good kid, Mad City. The second shit was tragic. I think that was on title. The third shit was massive. And I think that is damn. And then the other shit was ah. Let's get it, chat. Yo, listen. This is music. This is hip hop. If you came for gossip, just wait a little bit. We get to that too. But we're here for hip hop, chat. Let's go. By the way, chat. I need y'all to start getting on me. No Paul, like no Diddy, no Diddy. I need to start streaming. Thursday nights going into Friday morning, I, I hate, I love hearing music when it drops. Like, we not about to do this whole shit where we react on Friday. I want to react when it comes out. So I should have been on stream, and I'll I, I be forgetting that it's Thursday, so y'all got to get on me for that. Anyway, let's run it back real quick, real quick. This is J. Cole, 7 Minute Drill. If you don't know, he just dropped a project. It's called Might Delete Later. It's a full project available on all your streaming platforms. He will be performing, of course, at Dreamville this weekend. But right now, we have the song where he's officially responding to Kendrick Lamar, a.k.a. K-Dot, a.k.a. Kung Fu Kenny. This is how he coming, okay? No diddy. Fell off like the Simpsons, your first fell off. He still by the bitch. Yo, J. Cole apply that belt. He say Kendrick is clout chasing. I like this. I love this. I love this. Go ahead. Go ahead. One more time, chat. I'm going to play this a million times. Get used to it. Get comfortable. Oh, I like that. He say, yeah, I was in third place. I might have been behind you niggas, but I'm number one now. I like this type of talk. He said basically that nigga Kendrick is a jealous, salty, fell off, washed up nigga who was comfortable when he was trailing right behind, but he said he just hit his prom. Now we got a comfortable league. How ironic now that I got it. He wants something with me. I like this. Oh, no, this is good. Hey, chat. For me, it's more about what niggas is saying. This is, a hey, everybody got to kick out their first. This is a pre-round. This is a pre-round. This is the weigh-ins. This is weigh-ins, people. Weigh-ins. Let's run it back. Oh, nah. Run it back. He averaging one hot verse every 30 months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing. Huh? And he averaging one hot verse. The beat switch. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, chat, this is hip-hop. I told y'all. Some of y'all think I'm copping. Please, or Drake, he gonna have to answer too. I like J. Cole's energy. He's like, oh, this pussy nigga not really dissing Drake. He dissing me. He mad because I done passed these niggas up. 
J. Cole rapping like he's number one. I like this. You heard what he said? And I keep telling y'all, because this is why I think Drake is being calculated. Drake don't want to drop a dedicated song. This kind of feel like a uh, dedicated song, even though it says seven minute drill. The song only, at least from what I see, is three minutes long. So I don't know if there's a part two or there's another version or whatever. Anyway, that lat yo, I love when the beat switch. I got mixed feelings about these fucking rap niggas. It's over for that cap, the official cap killers, 2-6. We don't at niggas. We get at niggas. Shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog stack fillers. Stack stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffled. Body bag, body bag, body bag. Cold world, you ain't strapped up for Pilates class. Get a nigga stretch if I feel a disrespect. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Your arm's too short to box with a guy. That, this is what I like, and this is about the elite MC isn't we're about to get into you're gonna see callbacks you're gonna see almost alliterations certain type of metaphors similes double entendres triple entendres when like everybody should know that line your arm too short to box with a guard that's what he's telling kendrick nigga you five foot two your arm too short to box with a guard who live his life without the pressure of a constant facade i pray for peace but if a nigga cease these positive vibes, a falcon, whatever, out my pocket, bitch, this rocket gonna fly. And I was popping outside like the top of July. My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. Holy shit. I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I ain't even gonna lie. I'm powered up for real. You, you know, I like what, what this nigga uh, J. Cole keeps saying. Yo, I'm in my prime. This is the difference between Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick. He's the only one saying, hey, I know we're all legends. I know we've all been great. But me, right now, I'm at my peak. Y'all niggas are at your peak. You barely rap. He not dissing Drake, but he's basically saying to Kendrick, you barely rap. I'm at my peak. I like that. He said, I'm powered up for real. That shit would feel like swat the fly. Full album in 10 years, nigga. I can divide. <laughs> That's another callback. Okay? That's a line that Jay-Z, uh, actually, yeah, Jay-Z used to dance. Well, then he said, he used it on TakeOver. How many albums did he say? It was like three albums in 10 years. I can't remember. I can divide. I can He said, oh, yeah, he said the same thing. He said, you've been in this 10, I've been in this 5. Smart enough, Nas, 4 album in 10 years, nigga. I could divide, that's one every, let's say two. Man, two of them shit was, the other shit was nah, the other shit was Illmatic. That's a one hot album every 10 year average. Now, the only thing I'm going to criticize J. Cole off the rip, he ready to box, he ready to shoot, but he, he still got blanks in his gun. I don't know if he really got the hollow tips. He don't got hollow points in his gun right now. You feel what I'm saying? Because he, he kind of saying it like, yo, some of your shit was trash. I'll body you. But then he'll throw the this right here. My, my, my text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant, but I love my brother. I'm not going to lie. Man, fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. What you mean you love that nigga? Fuck that nigga. No diddy. I'm powered up for real. That shit would feel like swatting a fly. Four album in 10, nigga, I can divide. Shit, if this is what you want, I'm indulging in violence. Put pictures in my home. Aim, aim the chrome at your eyelids. Fly pebbles at your dome. We done stone tips on pilots. This merely a warning shot. This is what I'm glad he said. Because niggas going to act like this is a kickoff. Yo, Kendrick is still your goal. Kendrick is still your goal. Now, if I'm Drake, I'm going to do this, the same thing on a feature. Cole dropped a solo song, but it was on a project that he already got, you know what I mean, he was probably working on. Or, you know, we obviously seen the Mike Delete later, like part one, part two. Back in the town where they're whipping, working, trafficking pounds. Hold on, man. Fuck me singing it, bro. Let's get to it. One more time. Turn it up. Yo, Chad, how much y'all want to bet? We never hear another We never hear another Kendrick Lamar song mentioning none of this shit. That nigga going to go ghost. All we gonna get is Metro Boomin' keep tweeting. We see what happened after control. Nothing.
12 years. Kendrick Lamar. Is it four album in 12 years? I could divide. I... Let me see. Let's look at his discography real quick. Kendrick Lamar discography. The first album is Good, Sim Good Kid Mad City. October 22nd, 2012. That's 12 years ago. Then you get this, The Pimp a Butterfly. Okay. Then Damn and Miss. Yes, yeah, four albums in 12 years. The only thing about that, I think Kendrick's album, his last four albums, or his only four albums, is. I don't think you can clown it. Good Kid, Bad City is. Classic. To Pimp a Butterfly might not be the most entertaining, but it's critically acclaimed. Classic. Damn. Classic. And let's try to be a little bit like even and say Mr. Morale and Big Steppers mid. Let's just say that. But three, three damn near classics in 12 years. Yeah, I could divide that's one every, let's say, four. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I think that's a good average. I ain't gonna hold you. I like I like Colt Say though. It's asleep, but they gassed it. He's talking about Untitled, right? Or is he talking about um To Pimp a Butterfly? To Pimp a Butterfly came out March 16th, 2015. And Untitled came out March 14th, 2016. So really, the second shit is To Pimp a Butterfly. Yo, Cole, bro. Cole. Yo, Cole. I'm, I'm already calling right now. Yo, Cole. I think Drake sent you out like this, bro. I don't think this was you. I think Drake sent you out. Now, you nice, and I do think you lyrically in your prom. But you saying shit that's just factually not correct. And that's, what, that's what's going to lose y'all this beef. Y'all can't just diss this nigga and just call him trash. Eh, nah. Sorry. Y'all going to have to, like, I mean, he could do that to y'all. And, yes, that's his only advantage because y'all drop more than him. Y'all can't just say he's trash. If anything, y'all should just say he's not around. But, Cole, you can't say that because you're not as active as Drake. I'm sorry to tell y'all. Listen, Drake my favorite rapper, but I will not sit here and have no hip-hop discussion with nobody on fucking planet Earth that, wanted let me, that want me to say, to pimp a butterfly's garbage. Now he did say put people to sleep. Now J Cole, you are they, you know I used to call you Nap King Cole, right? Like J Cole, you were the guy out of the big three that was audio Nyquil. Like ah, <laughs> hey, listen, I I want to instigate the shit out of this, and I want to be like, oh shit, he killed Kendrick, which I do think I think this is a proper response, given that it's a warm up round. This is prelims this is before the, the real game is but when you say your first shit was classic and the the next shit was overhyped and put niggas to sleep it mine now i agree i do think damn was his prime Here's the funny thing, and this is why I keep saying y'all going against Kendrick Lamar, and I'm not dick riding him because you you know damn well I want Drake to take his head off, no diddy. When you say damn was Kendrick's prime, I think J. Cole, that's why I said I feel like he got sent off on a dummy mission. J. Cole, as your discography reads, he could easily clap back and said, your prime was... 2014 Four Souls Drive. That's your most heralded, celebrated album. For Your Eyes Only was dope too. But your peak was probably 2014 Four Souls Drive. KOD was actually not, you know, it, it wasn't given, like people actually slammed that album as, uh, we don't fuck with it. Off season, decent, good,
I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, project for project, J. Cole can't, cannot uh, criticize the catalog of Kendrick Lamar. I'm sorry to say. I keep playing though. If this is what you now, chat, allow me to be wrong. Allow me to formulate opinions that might change later. But I'm getting all this in real time. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is one of the few times, like, I ain't gonna lie. I had, to, I had to grab a couple niggas in the music industry by the neck of recent times, and I said, Big Act needs to be on fucking stream when all the good shit drops. Y'all need to tell me who's this and who. Because most of the time they send the albums around, usually day of or day before. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I guess nobody in Dreamville fucks with me like that because I ain't getting no word about this shit coming out. <laughs> anyway, here's the point. Let me finish this real quick. Okay, we're going to get back to that. J. Cole cl clearly was aiming at everybody. Yo, this is why also I think J. Cole was sent out. I think Drake sent J. Cole on a dummy mission. J. Cole even this future. And future ain't this him. I think Drake sent J. Cole out on a dummy mission. Listen to this, chat. Listen to this. I'm powered up. I'm powered up. Yo, who just said that? Junior, bro, what's up with y'all? Y'all don't fuck with Big Act no more? When, when I'm when I'm speaking the truth and I seem to be on Drake's side, I'm sucking Drake's dick. Like, no diddy. Now I'm telling y'all, like, bro, I, you know, I don't hate J. Cole, nigga. I really want, nigga, I want Kendrick to get washed. Personal biased opinion. I want Kendrick to get washed. But I can't. Yo, this ain't, I keep telling you, this ain't Meek Mill. This is a nigga you're going to have to, you're going to have to rip limb by limb. No diddy. So when I'm telling you, the like I like the the bars that Cole gave, but uh the substance ain't there because none of it is true. You know a rap song is different when you're talking to facts. Now, all right, there's some facts in that in that first verse by by, by or that, um the seven minute drill by uh J Cole. Yeah, people are talking about Kendrick because he dissed these guys. You're right. But you know what's not going to hold water? I'm sorry. The culture don't believe that you niggas, that he's dropped trash albums and your niggas is dropping the good albums. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. I'm sorry. Drake can't pull that off, and I'm a Drake fan. Like, put it like this. If I'm, if, if, listen, yo, put it like this. If, if And this is what I'm saying. I'm saying this because I don't want the guys who I want to win to use this weak-ass strategy. If 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 Kendrick Lamar says, okay, you're right, four albums in 12 years, but put my last four versus your last four. We have Good Kid Mad City to Pimp a Butterfly, Damn, and Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers versus Honestly Never Mind, CLB for All the Dogs, and, 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 and I don't even know what the other one is. What the fuck? Actually, I do know. Bruh, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all can't, cl like, y'all got to clown the fact that he don't rap as much. You can't clown his projects. That, like, trust me, that won't work. J. Cole discography. You know what your last four projects is, brother? Off-season KOD for your eyes only and, 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 and for your souls drive. Actually, the bar you're trying to get off on Kendrick, he could get off on you. Let's put that again in perspective. The 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 the, ver the the line you're trying to get off on Kendrick, he could get off on you. You drop four albums in ten years, nigga. I could divide. That's one every let's say two. Two of them shits was due. The first one that was a classic. The next one ah, a little above average. Then the other two niggas could have done without. I'm sorry, like you can't you can't clown yo. I'm not saying this to shit on nobody, 
but we're going to keep it factual. We're at the top of the top. We're at the height of the heights. Y'all can't clown Kendrick on what he did. He's focused on quality. He's clowning y'all by quantity. Yo I'm, yo, I'm the beef like aficionado. Listen, Kendrick's focused on quality. Y'all have done quantity. You can't clown him on the quality when you never focused on it. Pick another angle. Let's keep it a bean. Good Kid Mad City washes your best album in the last four. And that's four still drives. Damn washes it. And to pimp a butterfly is better than anything you've ever put out. I'm sorry. That's a fact. I'm only speaking facts. I don't know who sent you out, J. Cole. But you came out here crashing, and I don't know if they gave you the perfect roadmap. The rapping was good. Don't get it twisted. You are in your prime rapping. The concept of how you're trying to attack him, and maybe you're saving it for maybe a formal first round. The concept won't work. You can't clown Kendrick about certain shit. Kendrick reigns superior to you when it comes to albums. Kendrick reigns superior to you when it comes to verses. Kendrick reigns superior to you in a lot of things. You can't talk to him like that. You better find a new angle, my nigga. Now, the last four projects from, from Cole ain't gonna cut it. And here's the thing. This is what happens when you focus on quality. Even Drake discography. If niggas told me I had to compare. Remember, remember Kendrick. And, that's why the angle you got to go with Kendrick is. Nigga, you barely rap because you pussy. You lazy. You uninspired. While I'm over here doing a lot of shit. For all the dogs, honestly, never mind. Certified lover boy. We'll, we'll take her laws out of it. And Scorpion. Bro, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. You can't compare none of these al niggas' albums to the last four of Kendrick. So you can't attack Kendrick about his discography. You got to attack him about work ethic, being fake conscious, because there is a portion of how you could really view this to say, Kendrick, you're capping. Like, you were someone who, at the height of your career, took advantage of the, you know, the social justice movement and your biggest songs, especially from the album, Damn, we gonna be all right. But after that, when you didn't have something to back up what you had to say, you went ghost. That's how you attack him. You can't attack him for him not putting out quality works. My nigga, you like, put it like, bruv. And this is why I think that Drake sent that nigga, um, J. Cole out. I, I think he sent him on a dummy mission. You know why? Drake wouldn't say that. Because if Drake ever said what, what J. Cole just said to Kendrick, you know what Kendrick would, would say? Bitch ass nigga, I know you ain't talking about my, my shit being weak. You got, a, you got a song called Text Go Green. Are you crazy? Flights booked. Nigga, are you out of your fucking mind? Nigga, you can't talk to me. You can't talk to me about no type of records. You can't talk to me. Nigga, you're still running around singing a song called Girls Love Girls. You can't talk to me about records. Stop it. So that's what I'm saying. Drake, I don't think will use that angle. So that's what I'm looking at J. Cole and say, why are you using that angle? Now, this is another reason why. And by the way, this is all off the cuff. I could be wrong. I might change my opinion no more. But everybody's sending shit to my phone now. I'm seeing mad shit. Hold on. See another one. Oh, they said, they said, you know, Drake sent, you feel me? Yeah, we got 40 virgins for you in heaven type shits. They said, this is how you know it. Go listen to Crocodile Tears. He got J. Cole even this in future. I got to find the lyrics for this. Let me find the lyrics. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, nigga. J. Cole, you don't got no beef with future, nigga. You should, no way. Let me see. Uh, What's the name of the song? Crocodile Tears. All right, let me play it and then read the lyrics. Here we go. Yeah. Turn it all up. 
fire line though. I ain't gonna lie, J. Cole be having some fire lines though. Cole, if you ever see this, I know you might be like, yo, act, you just don't fuck with me. I do fuck with you, bro. You be having some dope ass lines. It wasn't the first person shooter, it was the other joint that was on the deluxe for Drake. I think you had a line where you were like, you said something about how the teacher in school like fold a paper when you get a bad grade. You get what I mean? And I was like, yo, that is such like a very accurate depiction of like a real thing. But you turn into a dope bar. Actually, let me find it right now. Uh, what's the name of the album? It's um, For All The Dogs, Scary Hours Edition, which is a deluxe, pretty much. Let's see if we could... Um, let's look at the lyrics. Let me see if, I'm, I'm going to find that lyrics. I, th I thought Cole went crazy on that. I ain't going to lie to y'all people. Uh, which one is it? Evil Ways. It was Evil Ways. Uh, it says... Okay, okay. Oh, right here, right here. This is cool right here. It says, times was hard. I watched my mama robbing Paul just to get Peter paid. And now my paper folded like when the teachers don't want your classmates to see your grade. Oh, anybody know my high school knows that shit. I was like, damn. That's when I realized I said, Cole is in his peak. This nigga is at his apex. He's His pen is like, yo, lyrically, nigga, like this nigga might have arthritis. He's in his prime right now. You feel what I'm saying? I really think Cole could rap with anybody right now. The only thing I'm mad at about that seven minute song, I don't like the concepts you're trying to. That's not the angle. I don't know if he don't got a, somebody who who got the war chest in his corner, but you can't go at J. Cole. No, you can't go at Kendrick Lamar, aka Kung Fu Kenny, about a discography. You got to pick a different angle. That's why you got to really brainstorm. How could we get at Kung Fu Kenny? It's not his discography. Y'all y'all won't win that. Yeah, I won't win that, okay? But yeah, now nah, this was a hard line. Anyway, let's get back to this. This is him on Crocodile Tears. Here we go. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, I'm telling you, these are the these are like some lines. Man, I ain't gonna lie, like, this one I know a nigga's in his prime. Just look. And if you uh we from the south where we learn all about stashing where niggas prone to shoot first and run their mouth last. And if you run your mouth, bitch, you going out sad. The whole click getting slid on. Think about it. Whole click. Mouse click. Getting slid on. You a mouse pad. Oh, my God. Mouse rat. Oh, my God. God damn. That's a nigga whose pen, whose brain is in another dimension. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yo, let's, yo, this is hip hop. I like it. Okay. I'm the one that niggas fear on the low ski. Heard him talking about we peers, but they grow. Okay, let me just play what he got to say. It's going to be right for the, here we go. Okay, what nobody say Drake and, and Cole is in cahoots for this whole project. I think, I think Drake says, yo, I'm about to cook up, a, I'm about to cook up a slobber knocker for this pussy nigga. I'm about to cook up a one hit of quitter for this nigga. I'm about to sneak his ass, okay? All I need you to do, Cole, because they expected me to respond, but I want to respond with a whole diss song that's a hit. I want to end him. We need to get him to drop his song that supposedly got in the tuck. This is a perfect way. Get J. Cole to pop out. Again, no matter what I'm talking about, J. Cole bars and how he's getting about Kendrick, you know what he said? He said, yo, this is a warning shot. This is a warning shot. That was him making sure it's known. This is not me firing my shot. This is me responding to you. So let's see if you're tough. If you're going to take the warning shot, don't respond. Or you that gangster, you won't really respond. Here we go. Oh, yo, let me tell you this. One thing I realized about Cole, he's been hearing our critique for a long time. He knows we don't like when he keeps saying big three. We know we don't like when he keeps shouting people out. You know what he's been doing the most recently? He's telling y'all, nigga, I'm the best. I am the best. Number one, not number two or three. I'm the best. Here oh, yo, future hold that shot. Hear what he said? You heard what he said? Yes, sir, it's me. It's me, not two, nor three. The uno, G-O-A-T. I need my fee, fuck kudos. G4 at least, these flights ain't cheap as you know. They sound faded, they downgraded. They Pluto, you know that's a distant. That's a dig. That's a diss at, 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 at future. Probably most likely for standing next to people who are dissing Drake and dissing him. Most notably, clearly, 
um, what am I saying? Uh, uh, well, most notably Kendrick, and then of course, then of course, um, Metro Boomin. Here we go. They sound faded. They downgrade. They Pluto. I'm bigger than Mars. This nigga is star. I'm Bruno. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, somebody's and some people are telling me, yo, act now, this shit is old, the same about, no, no, no. I keep telling you, once you get to this level, every bar means something. You don't waste bars, any type of metaphor, you're planning. Sometimes you have to sow some seeds. I don't think this is because, oh, it's an old song that he put on. Think about the lyrics that we just read. Look. I'm the uno, uh, yes sir, it's me, now not two, not three, the uno, G-O-A-T, I need my fee for kudos, G4 at least, these flights ain't cheap as you know, I'm bigger than Mars, this, no, no, hold on, they sound faded, they downgraded, see, that matters, there's only one person they call Pluto in music, it's future, they sound faded, they downgraded, they're Pluto, I'm bigger than Mars, this nigga star, I'm Bruno. I'm the one they want a, a song to a funeral. Okay, let me just play it. When they need something, their nigga rub his hands on this trophy. Ow! Shout out to J. Cole, man. I like this. Uh, I, I, I still don't think this is a kill shot to Kendrick. Obviously, he said this was just him responding. You know, this him speaking his piece. I'm okay with that. I think that J. Cole did enough to check the box of, hey, nigga, I ain't scared of you, but what we really doing? I ain't scared of you, nigga, but what we really doing? Are we beefing or what? And him doing that is going to put Kendrick in a very interesting position because now Kendrick has to either respond, which I don't think necessarily most of them lines, he wanted to only dedicate to... To Kendrick, uh, not Kendrick, I mean J. Cole, he wanted to dedicate to Drake. So now he's like in this position where he's just have to watch what's going on. Uh, I don't think Kendrick's going to be pleased with this, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Wow. And this play tent, crocodile tent. Somebody said, look, listen to Sticks and Stones. Did he drop Sticks and Stones? I'm working. I thought Sticks and Stones was an old song. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Let me put this out there, man. Yo, Cole. Cole. Yo, Cole, I've been one of the, the people who have been giving commentary in your whole career. And I'm going to just be honest why sometimes it feels like you get belittled in the conversation. I really just never felt you was like that. Just the truth be told. It's not just me. It's hip-hop. Now, we're not talking about street shit. This is all about music. We always thought that you operated in the position of being a beta male. The one who was happy to be at the party, but the one who wasn't the life of the party. We felt you were happy to just be in the conversation with the Drake's and Kendrick's and you didn't care where they would place you as long as you would be in the mix. From what you've put out recently, I, I, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised because I see the yearn, I see the desire, you want to be number one. That's exactly what I want to see you do. But I'll be honest with you, uh, uh, just like how with Kendrick, I don't think he's war ready. I don't know if you war ready neither, nigga. I'm glad you responded to Kendrick. But everything you said to him in the response kind of seemed like it was weak in terms of subject matter, not terms of rapping. You're rapping amazing. You can't clown Kendrick Lamar's discography. You can't talk about him not being around and dropping music. What about you? This is the same thing. You can't clown somebody for some shit that you are doing as well. What you did do, though, is possibly save the conversation between Drake and Kendrick 
that Drake could fight another day. And this is why I think that you got sent out by Drake or by somebody else because now it gives Drake an indefinite time period. I always thought he had one, but now it definitely gives him an indefinite time period to respond to you. That's another lie. In what world is J. Cole more popular than Kendrick? You see, this attack could work maybe if Drake is doing it. Because Drake is so much popular than everybody else. He's like, yo, you're cloud chasing. I don't think this is what's going on here. I don't think so. All right. Anyway. Okay. Uh, I heard Glorilla drop the track. She's talking about some shit. Hey, let me just lastly, because the chat, I wasn't going to stream all night. Like, I honestly only came on here to listen to this with y'all. Uh, check this out. Let me tell you what's going to happen next in this beef. Yo, Drake, you got to respond. Okay? Again, I would say sooner than later, but you got a couple, I think, months. Kendrick, if Drake, uh, and I'm psychoanalyzing this on everybody's side. Kendrick, if Drake sent Cole out for you, let me tell you why he did that. He thinks you're pussy. I'm going to tell you why I think you're pussy. Because you are the guy who throws stones and hides your hands. I don't think that that's really your nature, but we do have proof. When you've dissed people before, whether it's control or whatever, whenever they responded, you didn't respond back to that. You actually is one of the people, you're a disruptor, but you're not the person who keeps up with the bullshit. And that's going to become a thing, if you ask me. Um, so I say here, what? No, no, no. Mm -mm. This song is going to force Kendrick to respond because Kendrick made his diss song acting like he was down to take on two rappers at the same time. Well, now somebody has responded. You then got to respond to him or people going to look at you crazy. I think that Kendrick wanted to shake the culture up just like he normally does. Don't want to go really back and forth. Maybe like a, some light conversation. Nothing too heated. That's what Kendrick has been. Anything else is to the contrary. Drake playing with his missile instead of, I, I don't even know what that means. The diss was mid. This is warm-ups. We've seen it right here. Look, he literally says it. J. Cole seven-minute drill lyrics. He literally spells it out. Literally says, this is a warning shot. It said, fly pebbles at your bone. We the stone temple pilots. Back in town, no, no, uh, this is merely a warning shot to get niggas back down. Back in town where the whipping work and traffic and pounds. Yeah. Let me see some more of this, this album. Anything else that's on here that I should listen to? Because Cole is snapping, huh? The truth in the visa. I drove this. Yo, Gerald Lopez, thank you for the donation. He says, yo, bro, uh, I keep it to be known I'll rap Cole this year. I uh, might have had the bigger record, but um, Cole's been killing everything. I agree with you. I think Cole's been so consistent that he could actually speak. He could hold his own and speak how he's speaking to all these guys. But, again, at the end of the day, people are looking for that record. CBS. Mm, how many tracks on this joint? Holy shit, how many? Let me see. You, uh, 12 tracks. All right. Yo, chat, this is what we're going to do, man, because I'm, uh, listen, I ain't going to lie. I, I hate, that's the only thing I hate about this fucking thing where they drop albums at midnight, man. Fuck all that. I get up at 7 o'clock every morning. I, I can't be staying up too late. Chat, I'm getting off thinking, like, uh, tomorrow I'm going to do a Rumble-only stream for an hour, and we're going to go listen to this whole album on Rumble. And after that, we'll finish talking about the whole Drake and Kendrick shit. But I just got to, got on this bitch just to hear this shit with you. So, um, yeah. Love y'all. I am getting off of here, though. 
Uh, the whole Diddy shit that we'll, we've been talking about, I'll get to it after tomorrow. But, yeah. I'll be back on early tomorrow just to talk about this. Just because we're about to put Kendrick on an official time clock. All right? I'm about to Google this bitch right now. Time clock start timer for four days. No, a week. A week. Yes, we about to put that nigga Kendrick on a fucking time after that. All right? And if Kendrick ducked this fade, which this is a really good reason why I think I think J. Cole, no disrespect to J. Cole, you're like a pawn. I think Drake sent you out there like a dummy. And Drake knows if J. Cole softens the blow or, or, or Kendrick don't respond to J. Cole, it's no need to respond to his ass because he, he was shooting at both y'all, but he was really trying to get one person in the car. So why the fuck even pay attention to him when he's just trying to cloud chase? Kendrick was talking like he wanted to smoke with both. One of the niggas responded. And if he don't if he don't respond till Drake respond, that means cloud chasing. So that's what it is. All right. People, uh, go go listen to this album. I will probably be listening to it as well. Uh, I'm getting up early, by the way. Drake concert tomorrow. I'm there. Don't you worry. Uh, please, I'll catch y'all niggas in the morning, which is for me like about four hours from now. Um, yeah. Good night. Go listen to the shit.